that's so funny. It shouldn't be funny at all. <laughs> He's like literally in pain. What are you laughing about? I'm laughing at your pain. Welcome to Curiosity Public. My name is Dutch. My name is Dolts. Delightful Dylan <laughs> with extra, extra happiness. All right. And welcome to yet another episode of our ultimate service competition, our quest to review every sibling superhero on the face of the planet and subject it to our crazy hard 100 point scoring system. It's crazy hard and it's 100 points. Wait, is this oh, cognac? Right. <laughs> In this episode, we're going to XO. It's double XO? Double XO? XO? Is, it, is it a cognac? Who is this knows? Is this a heme? What are you, what are you, what are you heme team. Heme team. Heme team. Heme team. Heme Hemacy? Hemacy. Hemacy. I can't even say the word. Uh, and that's not a good sign because today we're going to be drinking the new offering from Dixon Deadman's 2XO. <laughs> What's it called? Phoenix Blend Phoenix. from 2XO. 2XO is the uh, two times oaked uh, by Dixon Deadman. What? Uh, it's called the Phoenix Blend. It's Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, and it is 104 proof. Let's take a look at this bottle. Look at that label. Look Ooh. at that. Look at that. Gold on black. Classic. Looks he fantastic. Signed he signed it. There's a signature on the back. We got a little info about what's going on here. It says the Phoenix Blend is the first release in the ongoing blender series from my new line to XO. So each one of these is gonna be unique. This is the Phoenix one, this is his first one. I don't know if this is gonna be recurring. It doesn't sound like it. So maybe this is a one-off. We don't really know how many of these there are, but we're taking a chance and entering it into the enter and entering it into the Ultimate Spirits competition anyway. What do you guys think about that? I've tried it already. I know, but we don't really like one-offs here. We, we want to be able to give the viewers recommendations of things that are going to be available for them. And What's by the, the time we thing? review things, it's like, hey, maybe the 2XO is not going to be available anymore. True. So, that said, uh, it does seem like there's We drink that, anyway. Yeah, it, it, we're going to do it anyway. You know, Dixon's got a good presence on social media. Dylan's looking up all of the socials right now, trying to find some dirt. How do you spell Instagram? <laughs> Anyways, this is a blend of Kentucky bourbons. I'm gonna get a sport. Dylan, you got any other info on this? Yeah, so I'm gonna talk about the, um, right at the beginning of the website of 2XO, it says, quote, wow, that's really excellent. Who said that? Who said that, Dylan? I have no idea, because it doesn't say who did it over there. So <laughs> Whose picture is that next to that quote? I don't know, but, um, but here's the thing. On their website, it says that, it, you know, Dixon Deadman, who was part of Kentucky, Kentucky Owl, Kentucky Owl yeah. is doing their own thing. And I think like Phoenix is supposed to what? Rise from the ashes. Yeah, so it's it's a second chance, I guess. Um, rising from the fires, right? So, um, you know, we'll see what happens. It says the best uh, second finish America whiskey of 2020, 2020. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and that's 20. that's from Maxim magazine. So you know as crazy. you know, I cannot read those. You're a full time subscriber, though. Yeah. Full time. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Yeah. No, so no. so anyway. So really, you don't have anything to add. Well, as I mean, usual. As usual. I think it's good. Um, but I do, have some, Hill. I do have something to add. Um, for our members of Curiosity Private here Wait. on YouTube and also over on Patreon, we are going to be doing one of our trademarked taste offs. <laughs> Between 2XO, which again is a nice blended around 100 proof product, to another around 100 proof, exactly 100 proof, blended product, Smoke Wagon uh -oh. Small Batch. Smoke so this wagon. is what, Dixon versus? Aaron. Aaron. Aaron Chepnik. Chepnik? Chepnik? I don't know how to say it. Uh, versus Dixon Deadman. Uh, two blenders who I have to actually say that I really appreciate them both going on social media and True. Right. walking people through their blending process, which I find fascinating. Yeah. I find it really entertaining. Yeah. I just. Entertaining. I would love to taste along and uh, <laughs> we should trademark that. <laughs> Trade, taste along. <laughs> taste along. Taste along. With, uh, it's called watching with Whiskey Tube. <laughs> with folks and, um, you know, I, I'd love to. Do a blend or something. Yeah. Um, so anyway, if you guys ever want us to do a blend for you, <laughs> no, don't do that. Uh, anyway, that's for members only. Um, right now, we're going to crack into this 2XO. We're going to score it, and we'll be back in a jiffy to discuss our scores. Now, yeah. here's the full disclosure. We're the arbiters of truth. When I did my first Quinn. assessment, it was um, it was the neck pour. And Same. Yeah, and so, oh. Oh. Different. 
changed. Okay. We should we should know, guys. Um, price point on this one hundred dollars. So from a price perspective, much more expensive than the small batch. This would be an interesting comparison. <laughs> And uh, we've had some time to taste. <laughs> we've had some time to score. Dylan, Dylan. is in disbelief. Because I guess he's had a religious experience of some kind. Um, but let's talk. Let's, we're going to reveal our initial scores. But first, Mr. Jules here next to me is going to tell you guys all about our scoring system. Yeah, we have uh, 10 categories that add up to 100 points from aroma, flavor, body, complexity, balance, finish, uniqueness, drinkability, aesthetics, and value. Flavor, though, we weigh at 20 points, and sex and value, five points each. And you can medal in our competition if you score 16 above, and you go from bronze, silver, gold, to diamond. All right, guys, initial score time. Now, of course, this can change as we discuss it. We're going to argue, maybe. We'll see what happens. Uh, my initial score, 74. 77. 73. We're very clustered. Wow. Um, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Let's kick things off with aroma. I have some things to say about this. Uh, I'll save it. Let's get, our, let's get our scores first. I give it an eight. I give it an eight. Ooh. I give it a seven. I wrote down only one word. And, and when I smelled this, I thought, is this the goal? And I wrote down butter. Because <laughs> the nose is very buttery, and I felt like, oh, maybe there's this goal to make this whole experience very buttery. Mm. Didn't translate to the palate, but uh, that's what I got on the nose. It, 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 it's, uh, I don't know how to explain it. It's just buttery. Is it like maybe a savoriness? Yeah, that? almost. Because like I was getting savory, that, yeah, like so savory, I guess I get that part. There's, there's but, a savory component, and yeah. it's kind of like, you know, like almost like it's but, oily and wrapped in oil, like, mm. which is a good thing for a whiskey. And on the nose, I really, there's something about the way the nose hit my, my olfaction, olfactory bowl. Olfactory. What is it called? What's the technical term, Dylan? That smeller? Um, <laughs> I don't know, something about it was just nose. like reading is like buttery to me. So that's what boosted you up? Yeah. A couple points. I don't know, for me, so I give it a seven. Um, <laughs> yeah, we got that. <laughs> yeah, and... I don't know, like, so it, it hit above only because I was getting, like, you know, a lot of the nice sweetness that you normally get, so on the brown side, the brown sugars, that kind of thing, and then just a hint of some kind of fruit. I couldn't actually even describe the fruit, but it was like fruitiness. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I'll describe the fruit. So yeah. I think the great thing about this is that it leads off with that summer stewed fruit. I love the jam that comes through. It's just... Uh, you know, I think anybody who knows this after after <laughs> after it opens up, um, they're going to be really uh, it's going to be pleasantly surprised, right? Because it's just a lot of sweetness. There's definitely molasses there. There's like sugars, um, not that much floral. It's more on the no, uh, dark no. fruits and dark flavors, yeah. fructose that type of thing. And uh, what's really interesting about this is. It, it's exhibiting what I typically see in like double oat uh, products, where you, it's almost like you you can you can kind of feel the layering of flavor, mm. but they're still disparate. Like there's there's a separation. Meaning it's almost like depending on when you nose this, you can get either of those spectrums. It's like mm. slightly different. So it's it's not it's like melding together, but it's just shifted, and it's it's not like a singular spectrum with depth. It's hmm. layer after layer of things, and they're really pleasant. Um, and there's a yeah, breadth nice. to it as well. And so I, I was waffling between seven and eight, but I, ultimately I said, you know, there's a lot more pleasant aroma, uh, you know, c components that I have to give them hats off and yeah. say. It, it came together, and I think that's right. ultimately what, what worked for me and why I bumped it up is like it all came together into this really nice package. It was a crafted nose. Mm. Yeah. You could taste that it was a crafted nose. So, yeah. all right, moving on to flavor 16. Mm. 17. I gave it a 15. So we're in that, we're in that range. Mm. I, I had trouble picking out specific flavors. Mm. I don't know why, but, but everything I was getting was good, and it was like, okay, well, if I kind of squint my taste buds, I can pick out maybe that and that, but nothing was, there was no anchor necessarily. Mm -hmm. 
but everything was very good and very pleasant. And there was lots of things going on in my palate. I just, I couldn't put names to them for some reason. I don't know if that's just where I am. No, no, no. I think you make sense because okay. I'll, I'll explain that. But go yeah, ahead. No, I gave it a 17 because I, I really enjoyed what was happening. I was getting enough of the sweet. So I was getting more of like to what Dylan said earlier from the aroma was like dark berries, especially on the flavor. And then like mm. it was coated with... You know, like, I don't know how, I mean, maybe it was a molasses kind of coating, but it was something definitely like, you know, that kind of syrupy well, thick. So like what you're saying, maple that, syrup, that's kind of what it was. It was like, there's yeah. general sweet, there's yeah. general syrupy, there's, there's but then I was general spice. spice. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, No, it okay. was all good, but yeah. I, it was just you general. Put it, on. it was like yeah, a big yeah. blob of this flavor. I, and I couldn't tell you that that was pepper or mm, you know, like right. a red pepper or yeah, a black yeah. pepper or a white pepper or a caramelized sweetness or a white sugar sweetness yeah. or a honey sweetness. It's just this mishmash. It was just like yeah. general things. Anyway, Dylan, you said yeah. you had something to say. Yeah, so, the, so you know, I started writing about <clears throat> how, how this is presented and it's the, the thing that kept coming back to me is uh, Makers 46. Like, mm. you know, and I'm not talking about like the general release. I'm talking about like not just the Makers 46, but also the private selects where they use mm. different the staves. Uh, staves. Yeah. And then, and that, that flavor that is presented to you is very different from like a singular barrel that is, uh, that goes through and is selected because it matured in a very unique way. I think the, the composition is very different. And you know, the, I, I just wrote like the mouthfeel and how the complexity is presented in this double oak is very different than what I typically see in a, like a singular barrel aged and selected out of like a hundred barrels, yeah, right? It, it does taste like a proper blend. <clears throat> and and yeah. so because much like how I explained in the aroma, like the, the layering of the variety of flavors, um, it's, it's almost trying to mimic that of older age singular barreled ones but it 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 lacks the distinct flavors because you have one layer and another layer and it's not quite in sync mm. so then when you when you blend that together it's just like it's a fruit but yeah. you're not saying it's a peach it's it's yeah, a it's yeah, a yeah, yeah. it's a sugar but is it like truly a brown sugar is it a is it like a refined sugar and so i get that like there's this mm. Yeah. Really but, nuanced, but, but not bad. It's not bad, yeah. it's not bad not but bad it's like there's this yeah. very nuanced, interesting component. And yeah. I'm not saying it's bad, but like, you know, I, I, you get this feeling like when when we when we try these, um, you know, very very over a long period of time, right? You know, I, and I'm talking about things like pappies and stuff like that, where like the barrel selection is really important. is consistent where here it's not depth it's just layering <clears throat> and so um i just want to say don't cut any of that um because <laughs> remember i use these videos for myself right okay. well i'll send you the raw footage and you can look back at it <laughs> uh, the next category is body uh seven <clears throat> seven i gave it an eight <laughs> <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Not bad. Um, yeah. You know, I wish that the nose for me was so buttery. I wish that the peft was a little bit more buttery. Yeah. No, it's, it's, good. it's not bad. It's good. No. It's close. It's a strong I can see seven. the seven. It's I can see the seven. seven. Yeah, I, I can see it. the seven. Uh, moving on then to complexity, eight. I give it an eight. I give it an eight I as well. You. I give yeah. it an eight. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot going on here. Again, it's like, it's not that you, you can't pick out specific things, but... They're all there, and the volumes are all loud and, yeah. Yeah. and when well balanced, which right. we'll get to. But but it's there; it's really there. That's it. You guys don't have anything to say? Yeah. I mean, I, I said a lot. Well, here we go. I, mean, I think that, that's relevant here. Yeah. This here. Is, this yeah. Is so relevant. Uh, next category: balance. Uh, as I hinted to, I think it's well balanced. Eight. I give it an eight. I give it a seven. I, I, what's out of whack? But like, really, what's out of whack? So for me, I just felt like the. There was a spice component that I kept getting that was overwhelming, especially towards the finish. So I don't know if maybe I should be docking the finish. That's where I was getting kind of confused. Maybe I should dock it more on the finish versus yeah, that. Yeah, I think. But I think, um, yeah, I, I could see that in the finish. But I think the reason yeah, why it's not finish. a nine or a ten for me is because there's a it, yeah, it's, fact, it's skews toward it skews toward sweetness. You know, I'm not, I'm not I'm not I'm yeah, not getting like then, I'm not getting into the oak. I'm not getting any of the the you know like the jam and the stew. It's more. Yeah, but what's here is well balanced. 
I, yeah, like I said, I'm not saying that it's, it, it doesn't exist. It's just that it tends to lean toward one uh, one other, side yeah. of the spectrum. So that's why it's not a perfect. It's not yeah. 9 or 10. Fair enough. Next category then. Finish was a 7. This is 7. Yeah, I dropped mine to 7. Yeah. It, it's good length. Yeah, yeah, I wish it was more proportional. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and again, I wish I got... It skews again, it more skewed. toward the sweetness. Yeah, yeah it skews toward the sweetness. I got spice. I don't get any spice. I get a little bit really? of spice. I, I understand what you're saying with the spice. I get no spice. I don't get an added flavor. It's just the yeah. things drop off unevenly. And for me it's to get sugar. a little bit higher than a seven, you gotta you gotta either add something interesting or have a flavor intensify. Yeah. And have the distance. I mean, it has some distance, yeah. but it's and there's not, a hollowness to the finish. Yeah, it kind of it kind of hollows out a little bit. Right? Yeah. All right, guys. Uniqueness. I ended up at a seven. This was tough, mm. but I did give it a seven. Yeah. This is tough. It was hard. I give it an eight. I understand the eight. Yeah. I mean, it's a it's a it's a blended crafted product. Exactly. It's got a. A really nice, pleasant flavor profile. I like that. That's the thing. Yeah, I you like, know, like that. In, in an age of, nice flavor I mean, profile. look, there are. I, I think I'm not going to say the names, but there are a couple places where like, it's all single barrels, right? And you just they just dump the thing. Yeah. And then, I mean, we you know, love this kind of thing. We I, love I, crafted no, we products. want we want the showcasing of the craftsmanship, the skill, and this yeah. is what they're trying to do. That's why I find it to be. In this age, much more unique. I mean, like maybe yeah. twenty years ago, it wasn't that way because everything was like yeah. small batch blended and I mean, all maybe, that. Maybe, uh, maybe Jules has a point. I mean, when's I the last time? I did give it a point. When's more the last time we guys. had a decently proofed, blended product, product. like this yeah. that, that, that didn't come from one of the big distilleries that wasn't a one-off special release? I guess this is a one-off and special not release. a crazy. Price, and I guess that's my, but, my issue ultimately is yeah. like this isn't going to be his regular release. True. Right. This is just one of many. Right. And I think if it, it's weird that like it would be more unique to have a consistent release at this point because everybody's right? doing one-offs and this right. has now become status quo. Whereas if this was always going to be out, I'd almost be like, okay, now if you can keep replicating this year after year, oh, amazing. you deserve a little extra credit amazing. for that. But now it's like, yeah. no, because sourcing is so hard and right. getting consistent blends is so hard. Like to do that, I feel like that's more unique. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Yeah. Um, so I yeah, I how that kind of <laughs> changed the way. I know, it's weird. It's weird. It's, it's very temporal. Uh, all right, guys, next category, drinkability. I ended up at a seven. I gave it a seven. I give it an eight. I see your eight. I like ultimately, uh, the amount of spice that kicked in in the finish, and yeah, the fact that I got a little bit of like a sourness in the middle of the palate. Yeah. It, it's 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 good. It's 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 drinkable, but it wasn't. It didn't bump me up to an eight. It, it's 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 right there. Yeah. It was I think good. it's good if you presented it. I would say it's good. Thank you, but I'm not going to be like. I I'm really need back. this on the shelf. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. All right, guys, next category, aesthetics. Simple black, gold, simple bottle shape. I like it, four. I, I liked it. I give it a four, too. Yeah. I give it a three. I mean, yes, yeah, I see that. I get that. Too. It's a soft four. It's, <laughs> it's I mean, a very like, soft four. No, because... It's fine. Look at this phoenix, bro. The phoenix is cool. I mean, come no, on. It's the... understated. It's fine. Everybody uses the George C. Stagg, b -Tech, Yeah. Bono. It would have been yeah. easy to mess up, and it's just gold and black and white. It, it, it's classy. I don't know. Yeah. Looks Soft good. four. Looks good. Soft okay. four. All right. Uh, all right, guys. Final category of value. Two. 100. Yeah, I gave it a two. Yeah. yeah. I give it a three, but I get it. I mean, I actually put a two at first. I, get the th I think I'm getting it. I gave it a bonus point for this is his first release. Yeah. And they didn't go crazy on that price. Yeah. Like, no, I, I would have I would have given it a one. Here's the thing though, especially but, how crazy the Kentucky Owl was priced. Right. Which, so that's exactly. what I was gonna say. He didn't have any control apparently right. over that. Because right. like, I think I think there was a lot of backlash because yeah. everything was three hundred dollars yeah. no matter yeah. what it was. And you know, he kind of had to but say come on, that he has like, to price the first one up there, dude. Like he's got to turn something. He could have, he could have, done higher. and that's he why. Done higher. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I okay, I can sympathize with the three, but yeah, I understand it. It's but it's still stick. pricey, and then I go if I were to take out if if this is not like like this Dixon's release, right? If I were to like set that aside and I go, I just judge this bottle. I'm thinking, boy, it's a hundred dollars. Yeah. It's a lot of money. It is. It is. Know? It's and a lot. It is. it is. All right, guys. Let's get our final score here. My final score, 74. 77. 73. 
which gives us our official Curiosity Public Ultimate Spirits Competition score for 2XO from Dixon Deadman. Very solid 74. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, it's Dutch's score. My score, as usual, is as the final usual. score. 74.6, but of course we round down. Stop reinforcing. <laughs> no, keep reinforcing. I believe I'm he's right. even Stevens, uh, man. Silver medal here for Dixon on his show. Like Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. That makes you uh, Kramer? either George or Elaine. <laughs> Am I Kramer then? I guess I'm Kramer. You're Kramer. Okay, I'm Jerry. You're Jerry. All right, all right. Yeah. I don't know what that means. But anyway, Jules, take us out of this episode. <laughs> Tell us what you guys think in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up or thumbs down. Either way, let us know how you feel. Subscribe for more videos from Curiosity Public. If you want to help us out, please consider joining Curiosity Private, which is the membership program here on YouTube. And we are also on Patreon. And we are selling t-shirts. That one, link's in the description. And uh, if you want to listen to our podcast, we are on all the major podcast platforms out there. As always, stay safe, stay healthy. <laughs> stay curious. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just saying, you know, the when I opened this bottle and I tried the neck pour, it was terrible. It was horrible. Mm. It was horrible. I, I I gave it an F, and then now I'm trying it, it after opened. a while. It's like B plus. Yeah, yeah, it's not bad. It's it's really not bad. It's really not bad. Yeah. Room for improvement. But again, it's like, you know, as you're sourcing stuff and blending it, it's like you're so beholden to what you can get your hands on, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah. But I sympathize, but at the same time, it's like, if you want to make a name for yourself, you got to stand you gotta out. You got to stand days. out. Too much stuff.